I had bronchitis as a as a child um, for a lot of years. Uh, a lot of it for me has been blurred over that period of time. But um, what I do remember is um, that feeling of isolation from from the wider world, um, from me, me peers, me friends, um, busy out playing, and and I was stuck at home. Um, obviously with uh, tight of chest and hard of hard breathing and um, that struggle of just going about your, your daily life. When it gets to such a level, um, you, you actually f feel that it's every, every inhalation, every exhalation is, is, a, is a struggle, um, something you've got to focus on to actually achieve it. Um, so that becomes your focus. It takes away all the enjoyment of anything else. It's almost like trying to breathe through a wet sponge. If, if, you, if you're of a mind, get a wet sponge <laughs> and, um, and try and breathe through that and see, see how, how you, you go with that and how that feels. Unless you're experiencing it yourself, it's hard for somebody else, even within the family, to say, oh, we'll do this or think of that, because until you're the one that's actually struggling for that, that bit of air to get you a bit further across the room or up the stairs or, or whatever it may be, um, it's very hard to articulate anything that way to, to help with it. So a lot of it is that fear factor sort of struggling to catch me breath and, and that panic and, you know, what the, 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 the essence of mortality, I suppose, and, and uh, all of those things that goes with that. Um, and, and that then triggers the breathing more and the anxiety more and then that, that 50 kilo weight on your chest suddenly becomes 100 kilos and you can't actually sit up from it. It's a scary, dark, dark place, and I kind of think um, a lot of the time you you hold that within rather than share and scare others. The the primary source was literally a, um, um, the cells were grown down at the base of my tongue, um, and that obviously restricted the 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 flow of oxygen in and out and and as such me breathing and my voice. Whilst I have a good relationship with me me breath, uh, overall there's still times when when that um, those issues become sort of uh, insurmountable at times. Um, the it comes back to the fore again, and uh, I find myself in that same position I did pre-cancer of um, grasping on to, to that air as much as I can. For me, it was quite difficult as well because I come from a mining background. Uh, I witnessed my great-grandfather um, being confined at home in the in the late 60s, early 70s with um, um, oxygen canister. And in those days, it wasn't a super lightweight little carry around thing. It was on a trolley that had to be hung by another member of family round. Um, back in the day, unfortunately, um, a lot of people were given a diagnosis of bronchitis, uh, heart attacks was caused of death, things like that. What never went on, a large percentage of miners um, death certificates was pneumoconiosis because with that went uh, an increased uh, pension and payout to um, widows.